I think today it depends what kind of uh, angle you have, if it's from a customer point of view or from a partner brand point of view. Uh, from a customer point of view, Chinese customer, they want to have the, the right product uh, at the right price with the good services. What is missing today is, I would say, the supply they might find sometime in China might not be the same than they can find globally. So this is one of the angles that Farfetch can compensate because we do aggregate most of the supply in the world. And on the brand partner perspective, what they miss is a one-stop solution, uh, what we call premier luxury get away solution for them to operate in China, not only on e-commerce, but also on digital marketing, CRM and, uh, and media. So yeah, when you go to luxury, first year, second year is usually the categories you're going to focus on. However, you do see a significant growth in uh, cities out of Shanghai, out of Beijing. The way you approach it will be, does this customer is mature enough to want a brand which is only logo driven, I would say mass international, very known, or they're also sophisticated enough to want something a little bit more niche. So again, the supply you're going to offer to the customer is one key. Uh, we do see a significant growth in second cities in China. It's something we are pushing a lot. Uh, it's a 1.4 billion people uh, market. So at the end, every city is important. When you go to a tier two cities, but you have 10, 15 million of customers there, it's of course a top priority as well. I think globally, when it goes to luxury online and luxury offline, you have some, some ballpark numbers you have. So traditionally, we say globally, 90% of the retail uh, sales will happen offline when only 10% will be online. However, you see the online parts growing more and more, going to 25% uh, by 2025. So clearly, online investment for brands is a key. Customers in China are extremely sophisticated when it goes to online purchase. We do see it on the data we are managing every day. We do see it when we are talking to our end users. Uh, we have, for example, a department called private clients only dealing with our VIPs, and they're able to get a feeling, to get a tone about how a customer purchase. But clearly, if you talk about online purchase, the Chinese customer is probably the most advanced in the world. In terms of opportunities, uh, I think if you see the, 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 the big picture, 32% at the minimum, 32% of the customer in the world who are buying luxury products are Chinese. This number will grow to 40, 45% by 2025, meaning four brands, already a third of their customers are Chinese, maybe half of them will be Chinese in the next years to come. So I think this is a massive opportunity, and not only a shopping happening in China mainland, but also a shopping that can be advertised in China, you engage with the brand in China, and you shop online from different cities in the world. So that's the opportunities. The challenge, it's a very fast changing environment, extremely competitive. Uh, you need to be fully localized. And of course, from our side, at least from uh, Farfetch, we are working extremely closely in China with partners such GD.com that allow us to get data, logistic capabilities, and a full understanding of the Chinese customer.